Hey everyone, uh, this is the third vlog for the movie vlogs that we're doing. This is for extraterrestrials and human transformations. So this week we watched E.T. and 2001 A Space Odyssey. So quickly jumping first into E.T. E.T. is sort of a deviation from the typical alien films, especially the ones that were coming out around this time. Because um, in this movie, E.T. is sort of portrayed as a, as a helpful creature, as like a friendly creature and um not as a, like a, the antagonist of the movie you know the antagonist of the movie is actually the humans the government agencies that are hunting down et because they want to dissect him and study him and stuff but um the musical cues in the movie and the soundtrack lend heavily towards letting the audience know that et is good obviously through his interactions with elliot you also tell that he is good but the whimsical nature of the soundtrack um, lets you know that E.T. is a good alien. He's sort of like um, filled with a childlike wonder and curiosity as he sort of investigates everything around Elliot's house. Um, so in the movie, E.T. and Elliot become sort of connected to each other. You know, whatever e whatever happens to E.T. happens to Elliot. So E.T. drinks a bunch of beer from his fridge and Elliot is at school and he gets drunk off the beer. And when E.T. is watching the movie uh, about a guy kissing a girl, e. T., uh, Elliot decides to kiss a girl in school because they're, they're sort of connected. Um, now, this connection that they have sort of foreshadows the end of the movie where while E.T. is dying because he's in captivity and he's being studied, Elliot himself also begins to die. Now, this is sort of a link to the god of vegetation um, because E.T., you know his health just as the god just as the king's health um if the king is sick the the crops will begin to die and the harvest will be won't be as plentiful uh when et begins to get sick and die elliot himself begins to die and plants also begin to die because et has a direct connection to plants he his physical well-being um affects the health of the plants he can also revive the plants if he wants to now, um, another aspect of E.T. sort of on the cinematography side is that for the beginning of the movie, uh, for the first, you know, few minutes, uh, first segment of the movie, E.T. is sort of shrouded in mystery. You know, the first scene where the aliens land on Earth, it's a very dark scene, it's sort of shadowed, so you can't exactly make out their faces. Uh, this is sort of a direct parallel to the antagonists of the movie, which is the government agencies, because you don't really see their faces until the end of the movie. So the cinematography was done very well to keep a sort of air of mystery and to keep the audience guessing in the movie, because um, like I said before, this movie has E.T. portrayed as a friendly alien, but in the beginning, the audience doesn't really know that, so there's still an air of mystery as to, and there's a purpose to keep their faces hidden. Okay, moving on to 2001, A Space Odyssey. Um, this movie is, all, is a lot about human transformation uh, and transformation in general because in the beginning, the opening scene, when the monkeys get transformed by the monolith into a higher intelligence, uh, that is direct, directly transformation right there. So um, in, in 2001, A Space Odyssey, the monolith is discovered on the moon and um, after after it is hit with sunlight, um, it activates the monolith on Jupiter. So they send the spacecraft to go to Jupiter to reach this monolith, and the spacecraft is piloted by HAL 9000, who is an AI that is um, like calculated, unfeeling, like very logical, and also is supposed to be very perfect in its calculations. You know, it's just supposed to, you put the AI on the ship, and the ship does all the work, and the astronauts don't have to do anything until they get to the to the destination but um, as it turns out HAL 9000 ended up making a miscalculation which is he's not supposed to he's not it's not supposed to be possible for him so um, the astronauts decide that they need to turn HAL 9000 off because he made a mistake in the calculations and he doesn't like this at all so he sort of gets angry at the astronauts and he kills all of them except for Dr. Bowman who um, he tries to kill but he can't he does not manage to kill and dr bowman eventually ends up turning off hal 9000 he, he ends up killing him so so far there's very prevalent there's a lot of um violence and killing throughout this throughout this film that's brought brought about by sort of intelligence you know so the monkeys um originally at first they're just monkeys they're all interacting in the watering hole but then once the monolith grants them supreme intelligence 
you know, more intelligence than the other tribes, they make tools and they use these tools to invade and kill and conquer the other tribes. Similar to how 9000, uh, how 9000's intelligence leads him to become violent because once he's wrong, when he's not supposed to be wrong, he feels threatened. So he decides to kill all the astronauts, which leads to more another cycle of violence where Dr. Bowman has to kill 9000, has to kill how 9000 himself. So as you can see, there's a lot of a uh, cycle of like violence throughout this entire movie. And um, in the end of the movie, when Dr. Bowman reaches the monolith on Jupiter, it turns out to be a portal. And the portal leads Dr. Bowman into a room where he sees himself as an, as an old like frail man dying. And then um, af as, as he sees himself dying, the monolith transforms him again with the with the concept of human transformation he transforms him into a sort of fetus like a uh, fetus looking like character overlooking the entire planet earth from space and you know there's the classic 2001 space odyssey theme that's like swelling in the background as a sort of triumphantly which um obviously the the fetus the fetus symbol is it symbolizes sort of innocence and um pureness you know because he's not an adult anymore as he was before when he when he was killing hal 9000 and um it sort of it sort of um completes the cycle you know the throughout the entire movie there was a bunch of death and violence that was brought about through intel through the, like the the increasing intelligences but the end of the movie the movie ends with a uh, sort of Bowman being transformed into a, a a baby almost, which is like a symbol for purity. So that's all we have for this week. I'll see you guys next week.